Okay, so I'm going to send some raw footage to a client just so her, so she can see. Uh, just some raw footage. Uh, need some photos and some B-roll so it's not color corrected. Just her talking head footage. So we're going to log into Frame.io and we're using the Premiere plugin. And, and we're going to just go right ahead and hit Let's Go. And, all right, then it's going to take us to our, our Gmail account and then we're going to authorize that. Okay, once we authorize our Gmail account, we're going to see all of our things and even a nice little pop-up that comes up uh, from Emery and the team about uh, welcome to Frame for Adobe Premiere. Please copy the place to watch the video larger so you get to see this right here. And uh, I'll just say great. And I'll just answer him right in, in the app. Great. I'm doing a tutorial now on it. And there it is. So I can watch it right there. Hey, everyone. This is Emery Wells from... Okay, so Emery. So it delivered that. So it just pops up just like the app. Okay. So we have the app here. And then what we're going to do, if you know it's a frame.io app, I have all my projects I'm working on right here. And then other projects that people have me on. All righty. And then what I'm going to do, I want to add a project. And I'm just going to call this uh, L Noel Events. Select my team, it's Chip Desard. And then, just like the web app, I'm going to go ahead and uh, they can download it, share links, email notifications, all that. I'm going to hit Create. All right, then it's going to say my project is empty. And I'm going to take this sequence right here. It's called Sequence 02 Replaced. And then I want to uh, call this uh, L. I want to just rename this real quick L Noel Raw Footage. Alrighty, so we just have that sequence. So we'll close out the other sequences. It doesn't really matter though. And once we close out the sequences, we're just going to upload this right to um, frame.io. So prior, I used to go to file, export, blah, blah, blah. And now I'm just going to click this upload. Then I'm going to say upload active sequence. My L Noel is active. Uh, scratch this. I'm going to leave it at 720. I'll just leave it right there. Uh, I can keep the rendered file if I want, um, at least 720, my whole sequence, or I can do it in and out. That's really powerful right there. Renders to my scratch disk. Uh, you can set your scratch disk by just clicking here, custom folder, and then I'm just going to set my scratch, scratch disk to my movies folder. That's fine. I keep render file auto version, so if I want an automatic version of it, um, but I'm just going to do this. I'm not going to export markers as comments because I don't have any markers in this. So this is just strictly raw footage. And then I'm going to hit upload. And uh, as it's uploading, it's going to launch Media Encoder. And you see Media Encoder launch immediately. Okay. And then it's going to go ahead and just start encoding. So we'll let this encode and come back and pause. And uh, we'll see how it renders and uploads right to uh, frame.io. Okay, so it's finishing up uploading now. It's at 96%. And as you can see, I can actually rate it uh, myself. It shows the size once it's finishing uploading. It shows the time and everything like that. So it's 99%. So everything that I can do in the web uh, version of Frame IO is brought here. My notification bar here. Um, and it shows congratulations on my first upload. Share the love. Sharing, help you grow, continue to really great feature. So if I do that, I can send a little tweet out or something like that, you know. So I'm gonna just go ahead and send this out and sign it with my Twitter and uh, my buffer. I like sending it to my buffer. I'll just put it there. Let me see. Uh, okay. I'll share now. Okay. All right. So that's nice. Really nice feature. Very good technology here. We hit X out of that, and then you'll see that it's generating a thumbnail. And one thing that I love about this, I used it in another, I did use this in beta, and you can import the markers, and the markers from uh, from Premiere come right in and sync with here. So I'll do that in another tutorial, but I just wanted to give you a basic, you have your events, you have some more, and you have your team, you can use a new private folder, folder everything is right here in the panel. So you would see it under here, under extension windows, extensions frame.io. All right, so hopefully that helps you out. 
And like I said, once this generates a thumbnail, I'm able to see it as preparing media for the web. And then if I want to link playheads right there, I can just start there and link the playheads and make sure that that's there like that. So actually it's ready to be prepared for the web. So let's see. Let's just see if it links my playhead. Oops. Match current frame. So let's make sure. Let's link the playhead right here. And here we go. Okay, so we kind of just do it here, and this is if I want to make comments. So if I want to make comments, I'm just going to make them. You see how when I move this, this over here, awesome. my playhead moves as well. So I'm moving over here on the left. So this is a web, and remember, this is not, not this only right here. My client be satisfied. So I'd love for my vendors to have a unique experience so as well. If I if once these playheads are linked, I'm looking at five forty p. partnerships and collaboration. Uh, 540p, I'm sorry. So you can see that if I want to make a comment, and uh, I'm going to make a comment on here. So I'm going to have uh, add motion graphic outro. All right, and then I'm just going to invite her. It just says check me. I'm going to invite uh, uh, Tika and go on back here and then invite her to the party. Let's make sure we can get her in here. So just share the love. Let's reload. What's that? And then I can sign out. Do all of that stuff. I guess. So if I want to add her, I add a collaborator, and then I'll just add her email address. Email address right there, which I'm going to do now. So that's all. Hopefully this helps, and it's a great addition to an already powerful Frame.io a web app. But if you're using Premiere, I highly, highly suggest you get this. It's free, and it is available now.